Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on IXL E5 which has to do with identifying the slopes of uh, parallel and perpendicular lines. So uh, these questions are pretty basic. Uh, you're going to get done with this one fairly quick. Um, and there are really only two different things you need to know. And number one is two parallel lines have the same slope and two perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So remember, parallel lines are kind of like uh, this line, this blue line right here, and this blue line right here. Uh, they run side by side, they're never gonna touch. Whereas perpendicular lines are kind of like a T or an X, maybe like this side line and this baseline right here, um, where they, there's a 90 degree angle between them. And so if we put these lines on a graph, you're going to see that these two lines are going to have the same slope, meaning they are uh, increasing or decreasing at the same rate. Or uh, you're going to have these lines where the slopes are going to be opposite reciprocals. And opposite reciprocal just means uh, here, for instance, where let's say we have a fraction, uh, negative 8 over 5. The opposite reciprocal of this fraction or this slope is going to be uh, switching the numerator and denominator and then changing the sign. So negative eight over five becomes positive five over eight. Because we remember that negative sign really carries it for the entire fraction, not just the eight. So it's uh, uh, more proper to say negative eight over five compared to negative eight, negative eight over positive five in this case. So uh, when we're switching the sign, we're just switching the sign of the entire fraction. So the opposite reciprocal of negative eight over five is just five over eight. Okay, and that would mean the lines are perpendicular. So we say, uh, the question says here, line P has a slope of negative eight over five and the other line Q has the slope of negative five over eight. Are they parallel or perpendicular or neither? Okay, so remember, parallel lines mean the slope is the same. So that means both slopes would be negative eight over five, which is not the case. Perpendicular means they would be opposite reciprocals. Um, opposite is referring to the sign and reciprocal is uh, referring to switching the numerator and denominator or the top and the bottom of the fraction. So is this eight over, or is this a positive five over eight? It is not. So they are not opposite reciprocals either, meaning it is neither. Next, line E has a slope of three over eight and line F is parallel. What is the slope of line F? Well, they're parallel and one has a slope of three over eight, meaning they both have a slope of three over eight. Line J has a slope of negative three over four. Line K is perpendicular. What is the slope of line K? Okay. Well, negative three over four has the opposite reciprocal of positive four over three, right? Because we're switching the negative sign to positive and then we're switching the top and the bottom. So it's just gonna be positive four over three, like that. Um, line A has a slope of five over three and they're perpendicular. So what is the slope? Five over three becomes a negative three over five. Okay, and then you get the idea. So if they're parallel, it's the same. Perpendicular, opposite reciprocals. If neither is the case, then it's neither. So let me skip. The equation of the line is y equals negative five over seven x plus nine. Line b is parallel, what is the slope? Okay, well, y equals mx plus b. Uh, negative five over seven is m, which is the slope. If the lines are parallel, that means our other equation is gonna have a slope of negative five over seven as well. Okay, here's another one. The equation of line M is Y equals five over nine X, and I'll stop there. The next equation of the line is negative nine over five X, and I'll stop there. Are they parallel or perpendicular or neither? Well, we have five over nine, and when you flip it and change the sign, it does indeed become negative nine over five, so they are opposite reciprocals, meaning the lines are perpendicular. Okay. Skip. Line V passes through points eight comma nine and six comma two. Line W is perpendicular to line V. What is the slope of line W? Okay, same type of problem, just an extra step. So you wanna find the slope of line V first by doing Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And therefore you, you find the slope of line V, right? Change of Y over change of X or rise over run. After you have that slope, you know the other line is perpendicular, so you're just gonna take the opposite reciprocal of whatever answer you get and plug it in. 
Okay. Line if he has a slope of this is perpendicular. What is the slope? Opposite reciprocal. And that's going to be it. Okay, I'll stop there. Uh, take care, study hard, and I'll see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.